Are probiotics safe to take with antibiotic drugs? The answer may surprise you and your doctor too. In this video, we're going to dive into these three critical questions. Which probiotics actually survive antibiotics? Is it safe to take probiotics during antibiotics or should you wait? And finally, three tips for using probiotics with antibiotics effectively and safely. Hi, I'm Michelle Moore. I'm a former microbiologist and natural health educator. Uh, the information in this video is for educational purposes and not medical advice. If you do need medical advice, please talk to your doctor. Let's start with one of the biggest myths I see every day that all probiotics help when you take antibiotics, and that's simply not true. Some doctors tell their patients to take probiotics along with their antibiotics, which sounds like a great idea. But what would surprise most patients and many doctors is this. Most probiotics do not survive antibiotic treatments at all. So when you take antibiotics, they don't just target the bad bacteria that you're going after. They also wipe out many of the good bacteria in your GI system and your probiotics. The most common probiotic strains, including lactobacillus and bifidobacteria, get destroyed by the same antibiotics that you're taking. But bacillus probiotics are different. Bacillus probiotics, they stay dormant during digestion. They activate once they reach your intestines, and they're naturally impervious to antibiotics. That's what makes them such a good choice when it comes to a probiotic during antibiotic usage. Not only are probiotics safe, they can actually reverse some of the side effects that come from antibiotic drugs, and taking them can actually help your recovery. Now, just like fermented foods which contain probiotics, like sauerkraut, kefir, and yogurt, most probiotics are generally safe to take unless your medication says otherwise. So always check with the drug product insert or check with your pharmacist or doctor. Just remember, the concern isn't that probiotics will make antibiotics less effective. It's usually the other way around. Most probiotics can't handle the antibiotics and they're destroyed before they ever reach your gut. That's why using probiotic strains that are proven to survive can make all of the difference. And even with the right probiotic strains, how and when you take them matters too. So let's cover three smart tips that will help you get the most from taking your probiotics while on antibiotics. First, take a quality bacillus spore-forming probiotic. These bacillus spores will survive the digestive process and the antibiotics and will arrive in your intestines at 100% potency. Another strain that's really beneficial is the yeast probiotic Saccharomyces boulardii. This yeast probiotic will actually help prevent antibiotic-associated diarrhea that comes from antibiotic use, and it supports gut immunity as well. And since this probiotic is a yeast, it's not affected by antibiotic therapies. Secondly, if your gut is already inflamed from using antibiotics, or if you've been dealing with an overgrowth of a pathogen like C. difficile, Jumping into a full dose of these strong probiotics could trigger some side effects. So start with a smaller amount and gradually increase the amount you take as tolerated. Your gut may need some time to adjust. And lastly, take a high quality gut toxin binder along with your antibiotic and probiotic therapy. Toxin binders help mop up microbial toxins inside the gut, and they can reduce inflammation inside of the gut. One of my favorites that does not bind medications like antibiotics is made from immunoglobulins, and it will only go after microbial toxins. Having a toxin binder can mean fewer side effects and a smoother recovery. 
And because Bacillus probiotics are so helpful during antibiotic use, I created this video that goes into the surprising benefits of Bacillus probiotics, including how some Bacillus species even make natural antibiotics inside of your gut.